Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12. Spilling yes. relevant, 12-ish, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talking. All things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we are in the midst of a design series. And, oh, we are live. Yay! Yeah, live. Take four. Take live. four. We are right. here. So happy to be with you. So we're in the middle of a design series and have a very special episode today as it is the 100th episode oh, oh, oh. of Tea with Tracy. Can you believe it? And my very special guest is my friend and owner of Oat Soda, Jason Peltier. Jason, thank happy you for to be joining here. us. Happy to be here. So, 100. so happy to have you. So you are my um, all-time like you have had the most appearances on Tea with Tracy within the hundred episodes that we've I had. I think I so need an award. I think you do. Well, you do. You are yeah. my very special guest yeah. on the one oh, hundredth so episode. episode. There yes. we go. I need so. a plaque. A plaque. <laughs> so a plaque. All right. I'll have to see about. I'll, okay. I'll see about that. I'll talk okay. to my people. So. I talk to your people. <laughs> talk your to people talk to my. My, yes, people. yes. 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 <laughs> So thank you for joining us. Um, My pleasure. So excited. So I, I just can't believe that what started off as, you know, something to do during quarantine to stay connected mm -hmm. with my clients, you know, has evolved into here we are at 100 episodes and still going strong. So I, I remember those early days, and, yeah. you know, just sitting at Oat Soda and chiming in on my phone. And, yes. And yeah. That was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, we've evolved. And now we're here in the awesome Owen TV studios. Learning and a lot. Learning a learning lot. A lot yes. We, we could have second careers if we would like in no. uh, broadcasting. Not really, but <laughs> but we're having fun. We're having fun we're with having this. A lot of fun, so yes. so for one, so we have some giveaways. We're gonna show off what we have to give away. Um, I'm gonna show them uh, kind of briefly, and then um, in the upcoming week, there, you're gonna find out ways. You just have to tune in onto my Instagram page, find out ways that you can win the prizes. And um, we actually have a very special prize. Very special. Very very special grand prize. Um, is that, uh, Jason, would you like to, to, to well, let everyone know what we're going to get to do? As you know, well, so a lot, um, we, uh, T with Tracy has spawned into what I kind of like more, fun, the drinks with Jason, right? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. you know, so yes. we have fun and we do this Although during the no day with you. there's no during those no drinks tea. with Jason. No, no, <laughs> no, but we do drinks with Jason. We've done that a few times at yes. Soda. It's been a lot of fun. Yes. Um, so... Looking forward to St. Patrick's uh, next week. We're thinking yes. of doing a little uh, St. Patrick's cocktails. There'll be no yeah. green beer, so no green beer. hopefully that's not crushing your hopes. And dreams, <laughs> no, no, it definitely doesn't. There will I, not I, be green beer. I don't but, need the green um, dye. That's okay. <laughs> um, love, you know, love to get you in, and we can uh, try some nice uh, St. Patrick's cocktails that sounds ahead great. of the St. Patrick's Day celebrations. That sounds great. And as part of that, we will have a very special guest uh, winner of Tea with Tracy. Um, can come and join the live studio audience. So, yes. and as part of the live studio audience, not only do you get to be a part of that, but you get to experience what Jason and I are also experiencing and, and sampling. Is, which will is, be cocktails. Which yeah. will be cocktails. Yeah. So, if that interests you, then be sure to uh, be sure to, to to make your comments on the post as it comes out in the next uh, couple of days. So, I like it. Um, I like it. And so, since we are in the midst, the hundredth episode fell in the middle of this design series where I'm bringing on different experts to give design tips each month. You have some design tips, I, don't you? I yeah. took the challenge because you know, I'm not a home designer. Right. You know, we're, there's really, you know, we're a restaurant, which right. I uh, thank you very much for always supporting and showcasing area businesses and restaurants. Oh. And we've definitely needed that over these last few years. It's my pleasure. Well, you know what? When you when you have uh, such a great atmosphere and you put out fantastic quality as far as your products and your food mm -hmm. and your beverages, I mean, it's it's hard not to spotlight well, you. So, thank yeah. you, thank you, and not just us. You know, other yes, restaurants and in the all area the other, too, yep, which, is, yes. which is amazing. And businesses, These, we have so many you know. talented local business owners. Um, I love our community. So we do have a great community. Um, yes. Yeah. Last night we were out uh, date night at Victoria's. Oh, in Victoria's. Oxford. Yes, that's um, a good one. They did a wine uh, tasting. Five wines with some charcuterie. So that was very a lot of fun. nice. So, very. <laughs> we have a nice. lot of unique, uh, unique, wonderful places in our. Orient Oxford community. We so. do. We do. We love it. But no, I took your, um, the theme of design yeah. and tried to uh, obviously assemble some notes that kind of design that goes into a restaurant. Okay. Um, 
it's not just food, but also the decor and how things kind of play out and yeah. decisions that we I made. I think a lot of people don't think about that, right? Mm-hmm. They think, oh, restaurant is open, but there's actually a lot that goes into a lot. Yeah. A lot. So tell us, what are what are some of the the design elements or process that well, we let, need to go through? I guess let's start with obviously beer list. I have to design okay. a beer list, and what that entails is depending on how many handles or tap handles you have. Um, you want a broad range of styles, so okay. everyone has something that they're going to enjoy. Something for everyone. Something for everyone. Okay. And that's something you can take to your home, and that's something we did with you for a graduation party yes, with the cooler. Was, all the adults, it was like kids in a candy store. They yeah. loved it. They looked at the menu. They were like, ooh, I want this one. And so, yeah, that was a lot so of fun. you can have fun, and we have fun. Like, I have traditional styles. I also have fun with it to introduce new styles to people. So okay. you always kind of want to have that little bit of everything. Yeah. Yep. Um, so with our draft list, but also we have our bottles and cans behind the bar, and those kind of have some ter- more traditional styles. Okay. So if there's something you don't like on the draft list, I definitely have a bottle and can for you behind okay. the bar as well. So. There's that thought process. You know, you want your light styles. You want your wheats and your IPAs and yeah. throw an amber or, or a, a stout in the mix. And, of course, sours are huge. We do a lot of sour beers. And so, you yep. know, we want that balance. And okay. our, our list, if you look at our draft list, it's always balanced with, you know, a certain number of each style type. So yeah. that's one. Okay. Um, You know, we do our wine and beer dinners. Yes. Yeah, so, so events, so special events, events special and events. how that, yep. Uh, design goes behind um, the food and the wine pairing or the food and the beer yes. pairings. Um, that's a fun design element because you get to taste the beer and wine, which we taste with our chef and a lot of times our reps and then, of course, us. And we get yeah. to let that experience help design the food. Well, and I've definitely learned a lot over the last couple of years even, and I've been at many of your events. I actually didn't even realize, like, you know, that different, you know, wines or beers, they can make the food taste differently. And so it is really important that you are, when you're putting together the design of, you know, of the full program or the Mm -hmm. meals or the courses, that you have the right pairings that help. Yeah. There's there's contrast flavors. There's complementing flavors. There's kind of just neutral. Yeah. You know, what are you trying to accomplish with this dish? If you have spicy food. Do you want a stout that's going to, you design the menu with a stout, something sweeter sweeter, yeah. that could kind of take care of that, balance out that spicy, or you do go like a hoppy bitter beer. Yeah. That's going to elevate the spice level. So sure. So you, again, that design process, how do you want the experience to go? Okay. So those are some of the so you know, thought processes. Yeah. So having the, the variety, something for everybody, making mm-hmm. sure the pairings go well together. Um, what about like the space? And no, so space is huge. Yeah. And obviously doing a re- uh, designing a restaurant, you know, it's you people want to be comfortable. They right. want to sit there. Now also budget. Yeah. Is OK. A big yeah. key that, factor that there true. as well. With any design you know? project. We, we talked about that last week as yeah. well. And I'm mm-hmm. sure in the upcoming weeks as well. So for a you know, restaurant. Yes. As, there, there's ways you can go. Yeah. You know, there there's you see a lot of places will have those little stain those little metal chairs that yep. really aren't that comfortable, yeah. <laughs> but everyone has them because they're very inexpensive. Okay. You'll also have places that can afford and you have like the real cushy cushy. Yes, yes. Nice. Yes. Um, um so that's obviously two ends of the spectrum. Yep. We opted for something a little in the middle, but a lot of thought went behind it as far as the size of the seat. Sure. Is a big thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. If if, I mean, it's almost like a bicycle too, right? Mm-hmm. Like if your seat's not comfortable, do you really want to spend exactly. time on that bike? You, so. you, <laughs> we determined a certain width, yeah. you know, so <laughs> chairs that we looked at had to be a certain width yeah. and depth. Okay. Because you don't want it too deep because yeah. if it's too deep, it cuts into the bottom of your legs. It causes uncomfortable. Who knew there was so much that went yeah. into just things like the seat yeah. of the just chair? The seat itself. So, and on, yeah. and beyond that, there's a foot rest. Okay. You know, if you're yeah. a high top table or at the bar, yeah, you need a certain height level foot rest. So I, we did road trips to Grand Rapids to go to furniture warehouses. My wife, bless her, sat in a million different <laughs> chairs. That's not quite the same as like, you know, when like you're, you're getting married and you, mm-hmm. you know, sample all like the wedding cake. So it's yeah. not quite as fun. I no, but think so. <laughs> we wanted to make sure we got it right with just right. our, our yeah. table foot rest, our bar foot rail. 
Yeah. As well as, you know, on the high top chairs, they have that little bar in the front where you can put your foot. So, yeah. you again, so you want that at a certain height. So, yeah. even short legged, you know, yeah. height. No matter challenge. what height you are. So, again, something for everyone. Yeah. And so, you, you want that just right. Yeah. So, you're comfortable. So, so those right. design yeah. elements. And that's something, yeah. again, you can take at home if you're doing a bar at home. Uh, you want that as well. Um, another Very factor nice. at our bar, if you don't, if you haven't noticed, we do have outlets with USB plugs underneath oh, the bar. Oh, yeah, that's that's so, smart, especially now with everybody and phones, you know, going. I know I was just traveling back. I was visiting some friends in Florida mm-hmm. and traveled back last night, and the airport had, you know, places a charging station, and that was really nice, especially because we had four delays on our flight. So, you know, I was in the airport for quite a while, so very oh. nice. Yeah, that is a great feature. Yeah, you so. want so, and again, that's something you could design in your home. You yes, know, you can. Those outlets are very simple to just swap right. out, right? And you can put them key places where you well, like want the, to just the kitchen. In. Like we used to always have like the phone jacks, right? When everybody had landlines. Now that there's no more landline, you know, you want to have a place to charge your electronics. Mm-hmm. That is, yeah. So that again, Having take that, that from the restaurant to the home. Yes. Um, it's very simple to um, yep. do. Uh, lighting is a key thing. Okay. Lighting, you want nice lighting. Yes. Um, something that complements the space. You know, and the makes rest, us all look have, good. Oh, you would definitely want to look good. Well, <laughs> yeah. if you spent any amount of time at Otsoda at the bar as well, you will hear me say the word "sexy time." Yeah. <laughs> at every yes, night. Yes, and then the lights change. I, I yes, dim yes, the lights a little bit. I may have been there during that time. time. Yeah. Um, but as the li- yeah. as the exterior lighting, you know, the outside lighting dims, yes. you, you need to dim the lights inside a little bit. Otherwise, yep. it's too bright. Yes, yes. So- I, and, I, and again, like that does translate into the home as well, because I know that like when I had new lighting put in my kitchen, um, I have the dimmers, but it also has, you can change the the coloring. It can be a little more white, like a brighter, pure white, mm-hmm. or it could be a little more yellow or anywhere warmer, anywhere in between. Warmer, yeah, yeah, anywhere in between. Nowadays and... with LED lighting and apps, I have lights for Christmas lights, not just for Christmas, yeah. but any light you can swap and, that, and yeah. program and different that, colors. My and friends shapes. that I was just uh, visiting, yeah. they have this whole remote with all these different colors. I'm like, that is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. is really cool. Oh, yeah. That's what we have so. out, like outside our, our uh, porch lights, and we also have string lights over the garage yep. that I can change colors with the theme. So Yeah, that's um, fun. That, that's fun. a lot of fun. And then sound is another big one. Okay. Music. Yeah. you got to have good music, music yes. um, which I have to say. We do get lots of compliments at Otsoto. We try to have fun and read the crowd and get a good playlist. But yeah. Sound, but again, not too loud. You want it right. it's comfortable. Want to be able to talk. I know that was another thing. It was when I was out of town as we were at a restaurant and my friend's husband was like, I, he didn't even want to stay. Like, he's like, I can't even hear you talking because the, you know, the music was so loud that you couldn't even have a conversation. Yeah. So that is oh. important. Same thing when you're entertaining at home, yeah. right? I, yeah. I mean, it's nice to have that background music, yeah. but... You know, uh, a key factor at home is multiple speakers as opposed to one speaker. Okay, and we've learned that um, now we we have little um, uh, what are the Google Homes? Okay, little little Google's yeah. everywhere, so we can have music in each room. Some rooms have multiple speakers. Yes, as opposed to one main speaker where you have to have it loud for people in another room to hear it. But if you're right next to the speaker, yeah. Y- you can't have a conversation. Right. So. Yeah. All right. So, so there's so so those are the design tips. Whether you are thinking of opening a restaurant mm-hmm. or <laughs> you just want to take some of those tips because they are all great things that you can, you know, translate mm-hmm. over into your home as well. So yes. I'm so glad that you were able to join us for design, design. month because you know, there we go. We got some great uh, I, I, professional tips. I, I took the design so. <laughs> challenge. And, and one more I mean, tip. Well, okay. one more tip. One more tip. Okay. Um, we have our legit charcuterie boards. Ah, yes. So there's yes. design elements between that. Yeah. You want different flavors. It's it's not just a it's a full sensory sensory experience. Yes. It's visual when a charcuterie board or any type of platter, first or any food comes in front of you, the the eyes are the first thing. You want to really just that visual element. Yeah. So so for those viewers who are watching and they're planning to put together their own um, at home for you know, next time they have, what what is a tip that you could give them to help make it visually appealing? Have fun. Use okay. different, you know, there's colors, there's textures, there's height. Height is always a good thing. Yeah. Um, and, and don't have everything rolled or everything cut the same same 
Okay, shape, so not all like you know, you know cookie cutter, you know, you, symmetrical. Yeah, like yeah. Just... I mean, you can have some things that are cool and yeah. shingle, but then to put a, put a block of cheese with a knife, or okay. you know, different types of meats. And there's, um, is there any wrong way to put one together? There really is no wrong okay. way. I mean, so just, just have fun put with what you it, like, have fun with it, put your personality new, into it. Yeah, you know, there's <laughs> dips and mustards uh, and sauces and jams and different meats, just. Whatever you can find, you you know, just present it neat and nicely and have fun with it. Awesome. But there is a design element to that. All so. right. Well, that's awesome. Okay, now we, I mean, this is the 100th episode, so we, we should show off that. Oh, we're shirts. both wearing our, you know, Tea with shirts. Tracy. Tea with yeah, Tracy. Tea with Tracy shirts. Very um, comfortable, by the way. Yes, yes. The, the the person who made these is very talented. She's very so, yeah, talented, yeah, she yes, is. yes. <laughs> she does nice t-shirt uh, t work. Yes. So, okay, we have a number of items. Now, they're all, like, kind of in this basket and but I it knew it's hard to see but like here's here's a mug I have to see which way I'm going in the camera so and then I have this basket so there's some tea with Tracy items Let's see right can you see it which way I, am, I, I it's like everything is backwards of what I think it should be there we go okay so there's some tea with Tracy items we have a t-shirt we have another mug um, and then we have some Dobie items that Dobie donated as well. We have this really cute hat with the Doberman on it, um, a snow cap, which there's, you know, there's, I don't there's know, in Michigan. Another week of snow. You can we, still use still, it or save it for next year an Adobe um, Yeti. So um, there's going to be a post that comes out in the next day or two. This is Tuesday. So um, take a look for that post. Uh, both on Instagram and Facebook, and you can fig find out how you can win one of these prizes. So we're going to have multiple, um, you know, multiple winners. And as we mentioned, if you want to be part of the studio audience, which this is not, the, this is an exclusive thing. Like not just anybody gets to be part of the studio audience. So if you want to be part of the studio audience for the next uh, Drinks with Jason Thanks live, with Jason. in which I am uh guest co-host with with yep. jason then um then you can win that as well or select from one of these prizes so um i just want to say thank you thank you to everybody who tunes in each week whether you watch it live or on the replay i appreciate all of the the comments all of the you know those who have suggested topics which if you have any topics that you're interested in learning more on i am happy to get that professional or expert on to to join us and and talk about that um so i just i just want to thank everybody so i really appreciate it uh, thank you i just so, uh, again yeah. thank you for letting me be a part of this a lot of fun it's a nice experience it's 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 a nice way to get the message out so yeah um and it's it's more than just talking about oat soda and it's it's basically talking about community yes um, yep. and it's a lot of fun um if i could quickly interject um oakland press has their best of mm -hmm. out Oh, so we need to get everyone out voting yes. for best oh, of. That's yes, a great yes, way yes. for businesses in the community to get that free publicity. Yeah, free advertising. Oat soda. Um, we've been nominated for something every year. Congratulations! Um, this year we're nominated for friendliest restaurant. Well, of course, that's so, no surprise. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if everyone uh, got you know in good company yeah. there. So, but definitely we would appreciate everyone's support. But also, go and support your favorite restaurant. Uh, or other business that are in yes. there and just uh, show them some love. Absolutely. So. Yep. So please go out. Yes. Community support is, is definitely important. So thank you, Jason, My for pleasure. joining you. us today. I appreciate it. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, we are going to continue on with design, the design series next week. Um, and I, I just appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.